Hi, and welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant, and I'm going to be talking to you about this 2010 Mercedes E250. It's a CGI, so it's the turbo four-cylinder petrol. And it's metallic black with black interior. It is an avant-garde and it's got a number of extras including keyless go, Harman Kardon sound system and Xenon headlights. It's done just 84,000 kilometres with a good service history with the W212 series I believe the E-Class is getting closer to the S-Class than it's ever been in terms of comfort, size it's even got LED lights in the dash and the doors which uh, first came out on the W221 S-Class obviously you've got cruise control, a speed limiter it's got a brake assist system so when you set the cruise control and you're going downhill the car will brake by itself it's got electric folded mirrors, uh, mirrors. The back seats fold down, and despite being a four-cylinder petrol, it delivers 155 kilowatts of power. It wasn't long ago when the six cylinders were 155 or 160 kilowatts. The fuel consumption is very good. You'll get about 10 litres per 100 k's in town. It's got a reverse camera as well. So you can see with the click of a button, you can close the boot. It is the avant-garde, as I mentioned. So you've got the nice, I believe, 18-inch five-spoke alloy wheels. It's got the two original keys. The W212 came with nice, fat seats as well very very comfortable and I can say that because I drove 12 hours on the weekend in a W212 E350 uh, another thing is the passenger seat is probably all the way back but if you look at the driver's seat which is the normal position you've got plenty of room which again is just one of the other reasons why I was saying you know, the E-Class is certainly closer to a uh, to an S-Class more so than ever before it's got dual zone climate control it's got blind side assist it even tells you it can it can tell by your driving through the steering wheel if you're getting tired and a message will come up saying you know pull over and have a break if you start to deviate from your lane the steering wheel will vibrate as well and you can't trick it because I've tried it's got daytime running lights obviously front and rear parking sensors and I think they represent incredible value for money you know they made this shape all the way up until probably only a year or two ago and to be able to buy an E-Class with 84,000 kilometres for under $30,000 in an avant-garde is remarkable. So I said the avant-garde does have very, very comfortable seats. It has a sunroof. And I don't think it's going to last very long in black with black with just 84,000 kilometres. Good history, two keys. It's got the original plates on it from when it was sold new in New South Wales. And if you do have any specific questions about the car, please give us a call. We're contactable on 029-569-9999. We're 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. We can help you out with finance as well. And uh, we'd certainly welcome the opportunity to take you for a test drive.